Nearly two years have passed since an earthquake and tsunami disabled Fukushima Daiichi. Plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company is still struggling to deal with the growing amount of contaminated water on site. TEPCO managers have delayed the operation of a new water treatment facility because of a series of setbacks. Each day, about 400 tons of groundwater flows into reactor buildings. It then becomes contaminated with radioactive materials. As the volume increases, so does the radiation levels at the plant. And if a leak happened, the impact on the environment would be more severe. TEPCO managers plan to start operating their new treatment facility last September. It's designed to remove 62 kinds of radioactive elements from the contaminated water, including radioactive strontium. Workers have completed the facility, but they haven't started using it yet because they determined containers for storing radioactive waste from the decontamination process weren't strong enough. The government has ordered TEPCO to conduct additional tests and to strengthen the containers. TEPCO representatives say it wants the facility to begin operating as early as possible this year, but they have set no clear date. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is starting off the new year facing a long to-do list. And as he sorts through it all, he's firming up his priorities. Abe held his first news conference of the year on Friday, and he underscored his dedication to strengthening the Japanese economy. Prime Minister Abe also spoke about nuclear power. He indicated his government will consider allowing utilities to build new plants. <laughs> The government will go over what we've learned about the nuclear accident and check the progress of nuclear safety technology. I'd like to carefully consider whether new plants can be built. It will take a certain amount of time. On diplomacy, Abe said he will give top priority to strengthening the Japan-U.S. alliance. He said he hopes to visit the United States soon for a summit with President Barack Obama. Through the meeting, I want to show my country and also the world that the strong bond between Japan and the U.S. has been restored. Abe said Japanese and U.S. officials are now working out the timing of his visit. I figured I would have gotten into trouble somehow. Sometimes you gotta say, what the fuck? Japanese researchers have announced breakthroughs that could potentially be used in the fight against cancer and AIDS. The two groups of scientists have succeeded in using iPS cell technology to make immune cells that can better fight cancer. A team led by Professor Hiromitsu Nakauchi of the University of Tokyo's Institute of Medical Science extracted so-called T-cells from the blood of people infected with HIV. T-cells play a major role in immune systems. The scientists reprogrammed the T-cells into iPS cells. They then cultured the iPS cells with other white blood cells to create new T-cells. They say the new T-cells can multiply 10 to 100 times faster than in their original form. The researchers say the new cells also have a longer lifespan.
We still have a lot to do, including carrying out safety tests. While we conduct the tests, we'll do more research so that it can be applied to patients as soon as possible. In a separate study, another group of researchers at the state-backed science institute RECAN says it also used iPS cell technology to successfully rejuvenate T cells that attack skin cancer. Thank you. 